Guys, I'll just hit a few shots uh, on this this same uh, uh, process, but I'll let you have a look from behind, and you'll see how low my my elbows and hands stay. <clears throat> see if I can keep the ball down. I've got two iron. I'll see if I can keep the ball down so you can see the ball fly. I hope you can see the ball fly. But you see my arms don't get very high in the backswing at all. Or the follow through for that matter. So it just feels like a wedge shot and it's a two iron. Doesn't feel any different. See how low the hands are after after the swing is finished? Just hit a couple of wedges. And you'll see the action is precisely the same. Nothing changes. And that's the good thing about it, it's, the principle is the same for every shot, your arms are in the same position, everything is the same. Just hit a couple of three woods. Guys, it's the same swing, wedge to whatever. I'll just uh, hit a couple of drivers. You see, it's the same golf swing. Now if you can see that ball fly, just see it's, it's straighter than a wedge. Just perfect, perfect, perfect ball fly. Now that may look like I'm swinging half power, I'm swinging full power, but the, the swing is just totally connected and contained.
Now that's as far as I hit any drive with any golf swing. But much better contact. And I hope you can just see that it's just this. The, the arms never change their position, that's why I want you to see it from behind. With a driver I'm not stretching for it, everything's here, my arms are here. And then I can have that constant rate promotion, which is just turning my chest and my arms and hands and everything just follow. The chest, the chest um, uh, tempo. Now that ball is going that ball's landed about one yard from that other drive. So, guys, it's really a simple swing. Okay, when you start out, it'll feel incredibly restricted and you'll feel like you've got no power and you can't generate power but just stick with it the more you keep that pressure coming through the more integrity the shot's got I just hit a couple little shots only sort of 35-40 yards out here I'll just hit them straight up here you might be able to see them but watch it's exactly the same shot look and watch where my hands go and watch where they finish And that's the only difference in that shot to the driver is the length of the golf swing. But my arms are the same and the process is the same. I was going to hit the other golf ball. Now I'll just hit one about 25 yards. It's the same process. Just a little one. Only difference is it's just abbreviated, but the arms do everything exactly the same. Everything's exactly the same. You don't lose the connection, and that's why this, the hit becomes so consistent. Okay, we'll just go to a full wedge. Here it is. Yeah. Don't worry about where the golf club goes. If you keep your elbows in, keep the pressure on your chest, keep the, the wrist down, the elbows down, don't worry about where the golf club goes. Wherever it goes, it goes. But don't get don't get to here and then feel you have to elevate it. Never ever elevate the golf club. Just let it go where it wants to go. If it goes there, great. Look at Matt Kucha. 6'4 and he swings it here. That's all it is, guys. Okay, have a look at that. And uh, But I wanted to show you from behind so you can see where the golf club goes.